Hey guys, how's it going? Hall Kind of Punisher here with another episode of the Manchester United Career Mode in FC25. So we are in episode number two of this career mode. We got through the entirety of the summer window in the last episode. We obviously didn't do any transfers or anything. We kept with what we know. The team is looking as this. And we've, do you know what? We've actually had a pretty decent start to the season. We're unbeaten right now. We did start on world class. I have now put it up to legendary. So we're going to have a really good good um, idea of what how hard this is going to be, especially against a team like Liverpool coming up. And obviously, Man United kind of got kind of got dicked <laughs> in real life against uh, Liverpool. But uh, hopefully, we can do a little bit better. Um, yeah, we're gonna, it's not going to be the easiest of games. We're going to start this episode off with a, with free youth scouts so let's see what we've got here so we've got the first one Aulo Payne a 13 year old lad uh, left back uh, 70 49 for potential 100% gonna get him in Flat, no Watson no pretty best he looks not too bad I might keep, keep an eye on him Molly no Dominic Payne no I might keep an eye on that pretty best Ah, so nothing really from Serbia or Republic of Korea, so we'll move on. So, our game against Liverpool. Obviously, I know that we've got this, but I'm, I don't want to do it every single time. What I might do is every now and again, I might just do it, but I'll do it in the background. I might show you something every now and again. If it, it, I'm not 100% too sure how much it does. I'll have to look into it, but... Right now, I just want to kind of focus on the team. Uh, we are building Youth Academy, so <clears throat> so we'll just see how it goes. But let's do this, this press conference. Okay, welcome everyone. We'll be starting with the questions now. Onai well, keeps airtight recently, looking free cleats over the past three matches. Do you take pride in that? Yeah, he's, he's been really good. I think Onai has been brilliant in goal. A lot of teams with problems similar to yourselves rely on true attacking wing backs in the lineup. Are you sure counting on Shaw will be able to deliver in that role? Um, I, I think so. I think you just need to stay fit and keep growing. We saw you play usual football with a creative twist using a different role instead of the usual Rashford. Um, I'm playing what? I think uh, Rashford's played fine. Okay, guys, I'm sorry to say we're out of time, so we're going to have to wrap this up. One of the biggest matches in the calendar for Manchester United and their fans. It's just so much pride involved in it. Bruno Fernandes leading out his Manchester United squad. Van Dijk sending out his red squad too. Two new managers, Dan Slot in charge of Liverpool, who's not had the greatest of starts in his career mode. We, on the other hand, are doing okay. Are we going to see a few more difficult games? We'll see. Definitely think that it's going to be a lot harder. I wonder if that sun's going to pay it any kind of difference. They bought Rabio, I see. I'm not too sure. I think that's a doggy they bought as well. Let's have a look at the team. The only change I've made came to my usual starting 11 is Hoyland is going to start ahead of Xerxes for this one. Everyone else is as it was. Liverpool, let's see who they've got. Alisson in goal. We've got a doggy. Rabio's in midfield. Dolovin's in there. And the usual fun three. Jota is the one leading the line. No Nunes in the starting 11. Let's see what we can do, lads. Let's kick off. We have, we have 
playing in the sun. Hopefully now has not got the sun on his face. And Rashford! Just trying to test the fingertips of Alisson. Alejandro Garacho. Jagadolo. He's got Diaz all over him. That's a brilliant ball! Hoyland oh, is just going clattering in to Alisson. He's trying to go along straight away to, to Salah, but thankfully Shaw is aware of it. Oh, what a run. What a run! Oh, and Salah trying to get away straight away. He does get past one. But Garte is there to release the pressure a little bit. Onana is going to find Shaw in some space. Oh, Shaw trying to release. Oh my god, and against the runner play, Salah has scored. Just a running thing with him and Manchester United. I mean, Shaw shouldn't have jumped in there. I don't know why. But then the Leeds sort of moved over. It opened the space open for Salah. First tower been down in this in this game. It's opened up for Jota. But Lissandra Martinez is lost out again. Oh my god, and we just can't get it away right now. <laughs> oh, that is fabulous! Josh Wazirksy! Brilliant! I don't know who I need to see who played that ball because it was absolutely fabulous. Not too sure, but Xerxes, bit of a shot of the game. Bang! Oh, go away, Salah! Stop going team manager, you idiot! You absolute Martinez, you got far too done early there. Oh Martinez! What are you doing? What is he doing? Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Sour, go away! I swear to God! I am going to deport you! I swear to God, mate! Get it. What are you doing? Get it away, Casemiro! How have we lost that? Seriously! We dominated that first half. He got a lucky goal. Martinez gifted him the third. And actually gifted him the second as well. Unacceptable, Martinez. And to be honest, I might even drop him next game. Oh, God. That is absolutely terrible. Hoyland has got an injury and he's out for two months. <sighs> That's really not good. Oh, dude, we're up 4 0. I didn't want to simulate that. I, 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 I was going to simulate it, but I'll take the 4 0 win. Let's go over this. Can we simulate this one? Ah, oh, yes, we do. Brilliant stuff. Anthony, Xerxes, Ahmad. And I might got a brace. Awesome stuff. Sellers Park for our game against Crystal Palace. Change team up a little bit. I'm going to play Rashford through the middle. And Mad is going to start. And Mazraoui is going to start ahead of Short. And Dillo is going to go to left back.
Ahmad trying to go from distance. Oh, he's offside. Thank God for that. I thought it was a foul somewhere. It's like, where? Oh, my God. What is that? Nah. Get out of it. Get out of that. Dilip makes a great block. Look who he literally just sits for him. Come on now. That is just unfair. Seriously, nothing is falling for us. Four! Go away now. Rashford, you've been so disappointed up front. I expect it better off you. Really, really did. It's too bloody late now. I've lost the time. What is that? Seriously? What a bullcrap goal for them. The list blocks it so perfectly and it goes straight to Mateta. They've literally been barely had an opportunity apart from that. Nah, just... That is the first pair of FIFA bullcrap I've seen. So here we go. We've got our first European game on the way against FC20. I have rotated. Really need a win after a couple of shoddy performances against Liverpool and Man City. We just couldn't get out the gates really. Need a good performance. Here we go. So, yeah, I have changed around basically the whole two centre backs. Joro starts, Fernandez and Mount start with Fernandez. Anthony and Ganacho start on the wings, Berserksy up front. Hoping for a big performance from these boys tonight. People like Carl Ayton, I recognise. But we've got some good players like Lammers, who scored against United in real life. Hilgers, who is a big player, Unustal, who saved him plenty of times on that occasion. Can we have better luck? Xerxes hoping to get a goal today. It's first in Europe for United. However, this is a big thing for us this season. I want us to win this competition. We should be the favourites. We should be winning a competition like this. Can't... Casemiro. Anthony! Sexy! Yes! Just about got in! 
I didn't want him taking a touch. I didn't actually expect him to get to Xerxes. Brilliant from Anthony, though, to put it across goal. An actual with a long cross. Brilliant stuff, really. Just gets out for the keeper, and Joshua Xerxes opens his European account in his first game for United underneath the theatre of lights. Let's hopefully move this on here. When the Euro being stronger. Mount gets out of his feet and just splashes that over to Ganacho. Ganacho just waiting for Shaw to make that overlap and run. And now Joshua Zerxi had to improvise with the height of all. What a goal that would have been and one far away. Oh, Rots has managed to get by Luke Shaw. Oh, and it's opened up. Oh, thank God. Anana got up first. Oh, he just can't finish it off there, Luke Shaw. First appearance. Thank God we did that. No, oh, Maguire. What are you doing, Maguire? You absolute donkey. It's the same guy. Maguire, you are ab you're an absolute donkey. You are actually a donkey. What are you doing? Oh, Anthony. God, be... God's sake! Really, we did exactly what the real United did. Dominate a game and blow it. Literally in the same way. Same player too. Oh, Maguire, you absolute... I'll be honest, guys, I, I probably wouldn't have even shown you that because it was such a waste of time of game. But we actually lost 7-1. I played it, lost 7-1. That's one of my biggest ever defeats in a game ever. And against Spurs, they didn't even do anything brilliant. But literally, they just countered us constantly with pace so I've, I've moved around the train a little bit and also I've switched the team the team up a little bit so hopefully we should be playing a bit better but we'll see this is a big match special in Europa League against Porto away I have rotated a little bit Euro coming in oh for god's sake instantly giving a ball away uh, Martinez who's not been in some great form recently Goes well there, though. Oh, and Fernandez goes for it, and it just goes over. I don't know what is actually going on because all the players have gone slow and sluggish and shite. I don't actually know what the hell is doing going on with my team. They can't create any chances. We're away in Turkey. We're still waiting for a win. Xerxes is absolutely knackered, so I'm going to have to start Ethan Wheatley.
It's a wheelie! Oh, what a moment! What a moment for wheelie! Get in! Just a touch and strike. Wheelie out of his feet. Brilliant! What a moment for him. Ganacho, just great little play just to pull two players on him and touch. Bang! Brilliant stuff. Love to see that from you, Wheelie. Really? <laughs> he just scored and then he gave him a yellow card. <laughs> Would have been funny if it, it's because he took his shirt off or something. I swear to God, they're a bunch of sweaty little assholes. They really are. You wait for the goalkeeper to come out and then sweat it. You absolute wankers. Ganacho! Let's go. Him and Wheatley are nicely linking up. I don't know if he ever played with each other in the youth academy or not, but they are linking up beautifully in this game. Love to see it. Wheatley is just picking up in the right options right now. Oh, that's brilliant. Ganache scores again. I really wish you could do a celebration. That'd be so amazing to recreate that. But we'll take that. Look at that. It's so wide open. Straight from the kickoff, we pick it off. The officer trying to press us so hard. Maguire. Really? Ah, oh, he just slammed that, isn't he? That's as bright as Samuel. He's just been the absolute menace right now for me. The low, you just let Kostic go. Oh, Dello, you're absolutely washed. You're absolutely washed. You just let Kostic just run away from you. I'm absolutely pissed off with all of you. You just can't hold it, can you? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, all of you? You have lost our shot! You are shit! Oh, look at how many times it went through your goddamn legs, Shaw! Yo, I'm so washed, Shaw. You are so washed. Why are we so shit? Why is the defending so hard? <laughs> Fuck! Useless sacks of dog crap! I'm gonna have to simulate a little bit. Thankfully, we win that. Jesus Christ, Xerxes gets us a winner. <sighs> gonna simulate with my. Second team. Oh, I didn't mean to put. I didn't mean to put bloody Highland there. Oh, I should have put Wheatley in, but bloody hell, they scored first. Mount right, guys. So I'm gonna just basically go through everything what's gone through in this last episode because I don't know which games I'm gonna show you and whatnot at this point. So um, obviously, I wouldn't have shown you the seven-one thrashing we got against Spurs. There was nothing good to show in that game. Um, we got a. Uh, Quite a boring draw against Porto. Um, we lost against Villa. We've literally only won one game, and that was against West Ham, what I simulated. We were actually 3 1 up against Fenerbahce, and we lost. Don't know how. Simulated against Portsmouth, we won that. 
Uh, Fan fleet, sort of on a two game winning run. Brentford, we were, we were nearly there, but we conceded really late on. But anyway, I do want to kind of get as many games as I, as I can done in each episode, so um, we'll see how we go on here. We have got a busy month of December. Here we go against Chelsea here at Old Trafford. We really need a big win just to kickstart our season again. We've had a bit of a shoddy time of it recently. Got our full strength starting 11 back though. is going to be offside I don't know about how much yeah by basically his old body what the fuck are you doing Dillo what the I tackled him Stay quiet then. I wanted to just lash that. Come on. We've had to be patient. We've had to wait. The Garnacho got cleared down the wide and just pulled it back. And Xerxes just found that gap and put it in. Wow. Such a big win! Such a big win! Oh, I swear to God, we actually do need to make some improvements in January. I know I was going to give players a chance, but I've got some players I really want to improve upon. So we have got newly promoted Ipswich. New team. I, I kind of want to mix it up with the teams I'm playing. I don't want to always be playing the big boys. So let's play these guys, hopefully get another big win and work our way up the table still. Sure, brilliant stuff there. Uh, he's gonna. He, he should find Ganacho. Fernandez tries to curl one, and Murich has to save. Fernandez gonna curl one in here. Oh, that's gonna be too easy. A bit too much on that whip. Minu! Ah, oh, he tries to take a quick, quick tick. And he's trying to put a bit less power on it. The delict. Fernandez! Again! Exact same! Yes! First time we get it right! Right on the head of the licked. I think it's our first corner goal as well. Let's go. Love to see it. Murich can't do anything about that one, the big man. Look at that. Right on the forehead. It can't get much easier than that. It's such a pinpoint delivery. And the licked so tough in the air. God's sake. Really? Oh, no, no you got to help me out a bit. Again, it's a good strike, but again, us losing a bloody goal like that.
come on! So frustrated! All of them chances! And we can't score! Fernandez, you're, you're dropped next match. Next time I play, you're on the bench. Some of your chances, you've got to be finishing. Another big match in the Europa League, and we are so far down the table. We really, really need to start getting some points. And I don't even know who this is. Just B slash, slash G. I don't even know who they are. Ugarte gets taken out. Oh my god, he has the post of it. I didn't even know he had that in his locker. Oh, Dylan does it again. Let's go. Oh, captain this time. Needed that big time. Go out from a mad. Oh, look at that. Brilliant angle. No chance. Let me get my fucking player back, you twat. Sexy! That is so needed. So needed! Ahmad, Ahmad, Ahmad doing some great work there off the ball. Just pokes it through to Xerxes and he does the rest. Absolutely brilliant. Exactly what we needed here. Oh, Luke Shaw, you just come on. You just got done straight away. Christian Eriksen gets tackling. My God, they, they are so sweaty, these teams. Clean sheet as well, and a first win in Europa League. It's all it took us five attempts. Okay, guys, so I feel like we've gone far enough. We've we've gone a hell of a long way in this episode. Um, I don't know how many games I've shown you. I've, I've played quite a lot, um, but I'll probably just show you the best games and some highlights and stuff. But please um, put down below any plays you'd like me to sign this career mode, any plays you'd like me to sell. Also, I'd like your say on what would you like to do with Jaden Sancho next year? Because he's on loan at Chelsea right now, but obviously he won't be by next year and he'll be coming back to us. I mean, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to keep him and use him as a rotational player? I think that's by the time that is. Uh, Rashford, Rashford's already up to his overall and Ganacho will definitely be up there by that point and, and I'll probably play a man over him. But would you rather me play him or would you rather me sell it? Please let me know down below. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you, if you have enjoyed these episodes. This is the only second episode, but we are trying to make so much more. I'm just trying to like get through a big chunk of these per episode. And especially when we get towards the business end and we got a lot more like big, big games. What but I feel like I've got a good idea where I want to do now. Um, I kind of want to get rid of a couple of these midfielders and then get in a new midfielder. Um, I still want to keep Manu in there because I think he's going to be like the main midfielder. Maybe even someone to replace Agate and Mabgate, sort of, of a bench player. Um, 
possibly get another winger in. I don't know what I really want to do with Anthony at this moment in time. Please let me know down below. Do you want me to sell him? Keep him? Make him a beast? Let me know. Um, probably going to sell Malassia because he's 25, 76 overall. I don't think he's going to go anywhere. I could keep him as a third string, but honestly, I'd rather use a mass, um, in all honesty. But I, I, I would rather put like, Masrari or, left, or Delo at left back. But anyway, we'll go through all the transfer stuff next episode. But please, let me know down below anything you'd like to see in this career mode. I'd appreciate your input. Keep an eye on the community page because we will be putting a lot more polls and stuff like that. I 100% want to get your your say on like player of the season and stuff like that. And we'll sort of announce it uh, at some point. I'll probably announce it on my community page who the fans player of the season is. Um, and I'll probably give them my own like usual. But we'll see. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'm the Hawkeye Punisher and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care and bye bye.